Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be overviewing these three devices and in particular I'll be overviewing the tablet device uh, from Asus. You can see the unboxing of the device right here. Now this is a Windows 8 device and it's a fully functional Windows 8 system. These devices right here and here are running Windows 7. But just for the comparison, it'll be fine. Imagine this is running Windows 8 and this is running Windows 8 as well. So basically, I had a question recently. What is the tablet device good for and can it replace your laptop? And I've been asked by a couple of people as well as my parents because uh, they're interested in trading their tablet for, sorry, their laptop for maybe a tablet. And they were asking me what is my opinion and whether they should do it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you basically some technical specifications. I'll be telling you what each of these machines are capable of. Also, I'm going to tell you what you can actually do with the tablet, how you can expand the tablet. So what are the options there for you? And I'll obviously will give you there a conclusion of what do I think about the tablet and should you go for one? So let's get started. Now, first things first, this video will be reviewing uh, the tablet as a, from the standard home user perspective. So not from the power user or for somebody who uses the PC for work. Now, all of these devices are PCs and they all running uh, Windows operating system, full Windows operating system. And let's assume they are all budget devices. So basically you can get this device for the same price as you can get the laptop and for the same price as you can get a desktop PC. Obviously, all of them, they are quite different machines and they are meant for different purposes. Now, in terms of the... Okay, I'll give you a quick def definition, I suppose, what the tablet is. So, tablet is basically a device where you use the screen for the input. So, this is where you see what you basically using your windows operating system your software and things like that and this is where you would touch the screen to put information into it now it's a bit different from the laptop because standard laptop would be like so and basically you'd be using keyboards and mouse pads to put information in the laptop so you would affect what you're seeing on the screen for the standard desktop computer usually you have a keyboard and a mouse and these would be your input devices. And once again, the monitor would be what you see. So the tablet is a combination of keyboard and mouse and the screen, put it that way. Now, in terms of speed, tablet, let's say this is a standard speed device. So let's call it 1x speed. The laptop in comparison, usually for the same price range, now this is a budget tablet, one of the cheapest Windows 8 tablets. So for the same price, you can get a laptop that would have four times the performance of the very same tablet. And the desktop PC would have about six times of the performance. Now, without a doubt, if you want to get the job done and you're using the device for work, desktop computer is still number one. However, laptop computers are not that far behind and with a little bit of compromise on the expansion and customization, laptop is your basically device of choice. Tablet comes last because it's obviously slowest, very little expansion, but we'll talk about that a bit later. Now, so obviously for the power user, desktop PC. Now, what are the differences from those three PCs in terms of their performance, their capacity and what they're using? Now, in terms of similarities, they all have USB ports. Now, this one would have single USB port, while laptop would have at least two or three USB ports and possibly a USB 3.0 port, which would be a faster USB uh, speed. And the desktop PC would have up to six or eight or could be even more USB ports and two or four USB 3.0 ports for the faster speeds. So obviously, once again, for the expansion, desktop PC. Now, for the video output, for instance, if you want to connect any of these devices to a bigger monitor or maybe your TV that has HDMI um, or VGA or DVI. No, this one has HDMI only, so you can connect it to one single device. 
laptop has a HDMI and usually a VGA so you can connect it to two devices and the PC usually has HDMI, VGA or DVI sometimes all of them so you can connect it two to three devices now in terms of the audio if you want to connect your tablet or other computers to external speakers or anything like that this device and the laptop would have pretty much the same would have one audio output except obviously the HDMI we won't go into details there so one analog audio output while desktop computers usually have analog and digital or at least multiple analog outputs so you can connect your cinema theater to it or five speakers or something like that now for the webcam tablet has two webcams so one at front and one on the back laptop has one single webcam and desktop computer usually comes without a webcam but for the price range you can incorporate webcam into it so they are pretty much the same um, in terms of wi-fi all the devices would go with the wi-fi once again desktop pc usually doesn't come with the wi-fi as a standard but for the price you could incorporate one um, while on the tablet and laptop wi-fi would be pretty much standard and in some cases Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so in terms of wireless these would be would have a bit more options obviously because desktop PC is stationary these would be your portable devices now storage this device would have very limited storage and very slow storage now I know that because I did some benchmarks and I saw that the storage is really slow Laptops would usually have a more moderate storage amount and moderate speeds while desktop would be the fastest storage Usually the fastest storage with some exceptions, but we won't go down the route So the fastest storage and the most storage the biggest capacities because you can have multiple drives and In RAID configurations and whatnot, but once again, we won't go technical Now in terms of RAM, so this is your operating memory that allows you to multitask Tablet would have very limited uh, RAM and very slow at that. Laptop would have usually a bit more and good bit faster and the desktop PC would have slightly faster than the laptop and more expansion options. And uh, overall in terms of expansion options I suppose tablet PC has one expansion sometimes two. Now the first would be your micro SD card that you can put in there. So that's basically a card that you would be using for your phones or cameras. You can put it in the side of the tablet and keep it there for your extra storage. It would be a slow type of storage, but it's storage nonetheless. Um, laptops can usually do the same. Plus you can remove their hard drives or solid state drives and upgrades. Usually you can do that. And the same goes for desktop PCs. You can do Actually, for the desktop PCs, your expansion options are pretty much limitless. As long as it fits in the desktop PC, you can pretty much configure it. So you can tailor it to your use, whatever you want to use it for. So yeah, as you see, very little customization on the tablet. But once again, for the home user, what does that mean to you? Well, if you want to connect a printer to it, it's out of the question. If you want, if you have a wireless printer, however, which are becoming more and more popular, it's not a big problem. You can still connect um, other devices that I'm going to talk about a bit later. Now, let's skip that and let's go with what can you do with a tablet device. Well, first things first, you can manage your, uh, manage your files. So it's just like any Windows device. You can manage your photos, your videos, your documents, and etc. You can use your Microsoft Office Suite, so you still have Word and Excel and PowerPoint, just like you would on the normal desktop PC. Um, you can use other non-demanding software. So, for instance, you can edit your pictures. So you can use Picasso or other software that you want to use. You can browse internet just like you would with any Windows machine. Um, you can watch YouTube, you can watch Netflix. Now on that, laptop and desktop PCs are more powerful. So if you're watching YouTube on this budget PC or any streaming services, you would be limited to a bit lower quality um, to go a bit technical to 480p. So you won't be able to watch HD, it's just too slow for that. 
Um, you can watch your own videos that you film with your camera. Not all of them now because cameras are usually HD and this device would not be playing everything in the HD. Um, you can use your Skype so you can talk to people that you that you love. You can talk to your friends and things like that. You can you can simply use your Windows. This is a fully functional functional Windows PC, so you have your all the tools that would be there on the standard Windows computer. Now, in terms of expansion, what you can use this on this tablet is obviously, as I said, you can put more storage in it. You have a HDMI on the device, so you can connect it to a monitor or TV, that way increasing your viewing area size. You can connect the OTG, USB OTG cable or, or so-called on the go. It's very inexpensive cable and that way you can connect your keyboard and mouse and um, other storage devices, let's say, like um, USB memory stick. So you're basically more or less making it like a standard laptop or desktop PC for that. So you can use your keyboard, mouse and look at the device on the big screen. Um, you can use speakers because you have an audio in and out so you can use your dedicated speakers or headphones you can connect a microphone so you can expand it a little bit but it's very limited now in my opinion there are few um few things to talk about that why the, the device isn't just ready for the market. In terms of size, it is too small. Now, the resolution is nice, so you have everything nice and crisp, but Windows operating system is just not ready yet for the, for the tablet device. In my opinion, it's not ready for the touch interface. Obviously, it's going there, it's a nice step, but it's not there yet. Um, I would assume Windows Update or the next Windows operating system would do a better job on that, but for the moment, it's just not there yet. Battery, I don't like that the battery is integrated. For instance, if you're a home user, guys, and if you do a lot of work or browsing or whatever on your home PC, you might want to connect it to mains. So this would be always connected to mains. You can remove laptop battery and connect it to mains. Most of laptop batteries are removable. That way, you can just use it as any desktop computer. This, however, you can't do that. And it's not recommended to use the device while it's charging. So that's a bit out of the question. But once again, this device was not made for that. So I suppose this is just my opinion. Um, what is the alternative, I suppose, for you guys? Well, if you have a laptop, and you want to upgrade, I suppose you can upgrade to Windows 8 laptop. We have touch functionality on the screen. You can do the same for desktop PCs. Some of the desktop PCs uh, have a touch function functionality. And that way you could simply see, is the tablet for you? And you would see where all this is heading in the future. Now, tablet is very hot device and the sales of the tablets would be just increasing. So there is a big future for the tablet is just that at the moment it's just not there yet in my opinion um, so while all this transition is happening you can use your laptop with the touch screen and just get used to the touch screen and see if you like the experience i assume there would be always a desktop pc with a standard keyboard and mouse and you could stick to that no problem at all but if you're thinking about going towards a tablet i would su suggest you first go to a laptop with a touch interface Obviously, you can also go to, uh, straight to a tablet, but maybe to a cheaper tablet, one of the Android tablets. Now, in the near future, I'm going to be doing a quick overview of very cheap Android tablet, and you'll see what I mean. So for the moment, for those of you who are asking, is the tablet for you, and should you upgrade your laptop to a tablet? I would say no, to my opinion because tablet is, it's a nice device to have, but it's very limited. So go with the laptop, have that touch screen, have Windows, try it a bit, see if you like it. And in the future, I'm sure there will be better tablet devices with more connectivity and just faster than that. 
So yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section down below. Feel free to ask any questions if you have. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.